Hello beautiful spirits, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. Let's get started with a love reading for Gemini. Let's see what the energy is at the bottom of the deck for you, Gemini. We have seven of coins. That's Taurus energy. It's all about investing, being patient, staying mindful, mind tending the garden of the relationship. Ooh, single, ready to mingle. Look at this card, pre-empress energy, Virgo energy, seven of coins is Taurus energy. Oh, wow. For some of you, you are having a new beginning in love or it is an actual new love relationship. Ace of cups, water sign energy. So in the recent past, the energy flowing between you and a love interest is, ooh, playing it cool. Aries energy, very passionate, very, very much geared to playing it cool, being strategic, um, playing the long game, wanting to have a good outcome. Very passionate. Ooh, here we have the knight of wands energy now we have sagittarius energy it can be a little bit of in and out um in the relationship i don't feel as though you've really settled in both of you appear to know very much what you want though you want to invest in each other and hopefully have a new beginning in love or a new love relationship that comes to fruition so your person gemini wants the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth Air sign energy, there you are in your reading. The devil card. How they view you, Gemini, is Capricorn energy. They see you as someone who's gloriously attractive. Sparkles in your hair, amazing green eyes. You know, if you have tattoos, they love your tattoos. They also see you as someone who is accustomed to being in control in life. They see you as someone who... Uh, they perceive anyway as someone who likes to be in control, have command of the situations, be the leader, be the boss, be the one pulling the strings. How do they feel in their heart space? Ooh, they feel that you are the one for them. Tiki torches, starry nights, three of wands energy, Aries energy. Again, you may be dealing with an Aries, a Sagittarius. Uh, but it really speaks to the fact that your person is very turned on, tuned in. You know, they, they really are tapped into this relationship. How they feel going forward, they view this as a very lucky opportunity for love with you. Nine of Cups, eat, drink, marry, and eat, drink, be merry, enjoy life. It's joyful. They want to introduce you to all their friends. They want to have fun with you. They want to take you out. They want to party with you. But, you know, this is also, they see you as their wish granted in love. They see you as the one. What's a mutual energy that's hidden between the two of you? Ooh, there we go. Starry nights. So three of cups energy, you put an ace of coins with that and you now have an engagement set. But what this says is that both of you want to be uh, possibly married or at least right now I, I don't see marriage as much as I see wanting to be madly in love with your best friend it looks like the two of you could talk for hours you could talk all night long I mean it is uh, there's a comradeship uh, there is a friendship there's an underscoring of nurturance and happiness in this relationship spirit is advising you to be careful don't make a choice yet. Right now, keeping your options open or at least being aware that there are some hidden energies here. And we do see that with the devil energy. So Gemini, if you're not a devil energy, it does say that your person is maybe projecting that onto you and you have to be careful of it. Uh, I don't often see the devil card as Gemini energy, but you know we'll see as we go along. That's just a perspective from your person. The two of coins. So what we have for the outcome at this time, short term for this week, is that both of you are undecided about how the relationship will move forward. I'm not seeing commitment, but I see you both considering. You both may be still on a dating site. You could still be in the process, very likely so, of making a decision about who you want to date exclusively. But you're not there yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify the energy for you. 
let's see what is it that this person would like to invest in with our Gemini friends let how do they view the investment in this relationship strength card they have fire in their belly Gemini that is Leo energy this person's very courageous very bold you know of course that's the Aries King you know the king of the kings the Aries Emperor so uh, you have some real fiery passion here really strong energy we also see your person with this king of swords energy they have sized you up gemini they see you as honest they see you as hard working they see you as a tremendous problem solver very attractive in the world of singles your creme de la creme my friends so the eight of cups clarifying the ace of cups interesting that is, this person may have walked away from someone that they loved. They may have walked away from the relationship. I'm not, it's very interesting. Now, I will say, because these cards seem so unlikely uh, together, I often get, because I traveled as an international flight attendant, please, I'm broadcasting from Chicago, tell me where you're from in the comments below, because I traveled internationally for many years. But I found this and I never hear another reader say this, but there are a lot of flight attendants who read tarot, and we all get this kind of common denominator that one of you may actually travel. Your person may see that your career limits also your availability to them, and that would be very Capricorn energy. But for some of you, they feel as though you uh, maybe you know take off on trips, you go other places. You're not always available is how I'm reading this. And it's um, when you travel internationally, you could be gone eight days. you know it's it's routine and uh, it's not a common lifestyle, but look at this. Your person wants to work through the energy. They want to move forward with you. I don't think that this energy is easy for them. You need somebody who's very much kind of a free spirit like yourself, and they have some of that, but this person likes to be in control. They do, and they're they're trying to figure out, my viewpoint is, the way what I'm getting here is not so much that they see you as controlling, but the strong desire to have a, a very strong, heavy ability to be the leader in the relationship, and they're not thinking that you would allow it. And actually, I don't see you as I would agree with that reading that, you know, that assessment that you are Capricorn, that, you know, you don't really let anybody manipulate you. So interesting. The Seven of Wands is clarifying the Emperor card. Both of you are standing your ground. Both of you are very determined to be to live your life in a very integral way, a very honest way, and you're not going to play games. You know, it looks as though both of you can be very strategic. Uh, both of you could play games, but I don't see you doing that. Gemini, here's your card. So it does look like you you manifested this energy of having a good lover. You know, hey, who doesn't want a good lover? So the magician energy is Virgo and Gemini energy. You have all the tools that you need to get what you want. And right now, you want some good old-fashioned fun with somebody who's honest, somebody who's joyful, somebody who's playful. And you are getting that. What is the truth of the situation that your person sees about you, Gemini? The Ace of Swords is clarifying the Ace of Swords. We can't make this up on the tarot table. I mean, I always am amazed when there's a 1 in 156 chance that that could happen, and here it is. Yep, here we go. The truth is, is that your person wants the Empress. They see you as pre-Empress energy. They are the Emperor. They see you as divine counterpart. And this person wants with you marriage, traditional values. They are looking at you, watching you to see and assess. And that's that chess piece. They're, they're very successful. They see you as being very successful. And so they're trying to figure out if they can move away from some old ideas that you have to be right there at their beck and call and they're having a hard time with it. You know, different people have different levels of needing to feel in the driver's seat. So why do we have the devil for how they see you? 
<laughs> Six of Wands, winner, winner, chicken dinner. They cannot manipulate you. You are way too grounded. You are very successful. They actually see you as a person that they don't see you as a person who wants to manipulate. But if anybody's going to do the manipulating, they see you as being the one to do it. So they do see you as a winner. In their heart space, they are falling in love. Nine of Cups, Nine of Cups. They are falling in love with you. They see you as quite magical. You know, you are the person who represents to them adventures and excitement and a beautiful flow of emotion, something that's very lovely, something that's comfortable and delicious and warm and fuzzy and, and passionate, very passionate energy with that Aries. So there's a lot of fire here. There's a lot of water. So interesting mix here. The Nine of Cups over here in terms of how they see the two of you moving forward. We have the Scorpio King. That is absolutely someone who loves very deeply. That is a person who's been to, you know, Hades and back because it's Scorpio energy. They have died a thousand deaths or, you know, whatever they say. Uh, but, you know, it's Scorpio energy, death and rebirth. You have brought them to life. They haven't been interested in anybody, I don't think, for a very long time. Your person may have been without a relationship for up to eight years. Oh, twin flame energy. I keep getting this card disproportionately in the last two weeks. So it's coming out just almost every reading. That is the number 22, the Naked Heart. In the Naked Heart Tarot is the only card or deck that I have with the number 22. That is twin flame. It's transformation coming into union. Your person wants that with you. The Three of Cups. Why is it here? We have Virgo energy. Doing the work day in, day out. Being reliable. Being trustworthy. Look at this. The Sun card. The happiest card in the deck. Joyful, fiery energy. Leo energy. So you have a trifecta. So you have Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. So very powerful. Somebody very passionate, someone who finds you delightful, pleasurable, someone that they can hang out with for years. They're, you know, both of you are moving slowly, but you're both very invested. Seven of coins. That's your mutual hidden energy as you both see each other in a beautiful light of deep friendship and high regard. Why is the Seven of Cups? There is a warning shot right here. You know, what this warns you about. Spirit is warning you that not everything may be what it seems. Take your time and let this person reveal that which, get to know them well enough, invest enough time in them to really know what's under, under uh, all these jars. Don't jump in and make a big commitment at this time. Be very aware because there's a coral snake right here. Coral snakes, you know, obviously most people don't want one. All right, so we have the Four of Pentacles. So Spirit is saying, hold back, you know, just hold back. Don't make any judgments. Don't jump to conclusions. Don't make assumptions. Wait for this to play out. This is Capricorn energy. Be very practical. The Two of Coins, what do we have? The Nine of Wands, you both have fire in your belly for this relationship. The two of you are very much looking at comparing you one another to the energy of other people. Now that has you up in your head. Gemini Nine of Swords. So it does speak to the fact that you're, you and your person really want each other very, very badly. And it, it could get in the way a little bit. It looks like it's, it's, there's times when it's tense. So, oh, very interesting. So for, for some of you, this could be the rebirth of a relationship that was left in the past and that you're healing it and that you are hell-bent on making sure that this person doesn't manipulate you or whatever, and you have a victory. But what I'm getting here is for others of you, what we see is that the choice is going to be made. If you're too much in your head and you feel like you can't have a good outcome, there may be a breakup. But I don't, I feel as though with the Ace of Coins and the Three of Cups, the two of you will recognize that you're in a perilous situation by overthinking, by really getting too bogged down 
in too much detail. But what I see was both very strategic planners, highly successful, and you know, highly successful people are very analytical. And but you're willing to do the you have fire in your bellies uh, to do the work that is required. Yep, innocence of wands, page of wands, throwing caution to the winds, the two of coins again. Okay, so we're really seeing that both of you are not sure exactly the choice that you will make, but you, Gemini, your person sees you as the one who will certainly win what they want, that you, the decision will ultimately fall to you because of the Six of Wands energy. So let's look and see what the Oracle says here, the Oracle. Let's see, this is the Sacred Forest Oracle. Let's see what the advice of spirit is at this time in this relationship. It's not a time to choose yet. Manifesting dreams. Well, that's your wish fulfillment. The Nine of Cups right there. Nine of Cups, Nine of Cups. You both have this wish fulfillment. So that is manifesting it. And we have, you know, the card of Gemini. So you may also be dealing with a Virgo or Capricorn. Love the Wild Rose Fairy. Isn't that nice? Look at that energy. Just bursting forth. Joyful, happy, robust. Falling in love. Success. Nice. Sacred Spring. You have everything you need to be successful in this relationship. Let's look and see what the undercurrent is of a couple of these cards. This is the Heart of the Fairy Oracle. It reveals a lot about uh, motivations. Uh, it's, it's from Brian and Wendy Fruit, and it's a fabulous deck of, it's really in depth. The Devil card, what is the Devil? The Lady of Sorrows, oh, how enlightening. Your person thinks that you have old wounds that you have carried with you that are making you very powerfully unwilling to let anybody else control you or the situation. So they do think that you're being a bit controlling for the win and love. So that makes sense. That Lady of Sorrow says that your feeling is like, nope. If anybody is over here, I'm not letting anybody manipulate me. I'm in control of me. They do see you as a bright spark, Gemini. They see you as just delightful, great sense of humor, very funny. In a group of people, you are always very popular. And we see the Lady of Unicorns. Well, how many twin flames do you get? Nope, in a lifetime, one. The Lady of Unicorns is that twin flame energy. The Lady of Unicorns is someone who's very special, unique, and twin flame. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. It's been a joy. Please leave a comment telling me where you're viewing the video from. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon in another video. Bye-bye.